Hello, my name's Claire Boobia Jones. I'm the Director of Allied Health and Psychology Professions at Somerset Foundation Trust. And I've been asked to make this video on behalf of Hayley Peters, our Chief Nurse. Hayley nominated Emma Wicks, who's a speech and language therapist in our organisation. Emma was the lead of our neuro speech and language therapy pathway. However, very early on in the pandemic, Emma and her colleagues realised that her skill set would need to be used in the critical care setting. There was no speech and language therapy pathway for patients who'd been ventilated currently, and they knew that this was going to be essential for recovery. So Emma moved quickly into this team, into this setting, working in critical care, working through onto the medical wards and out into the community to support people who'd been ventilated to recover their voice and swallowing. We want to say thank you to you, Emma. Thank you for your bravery and for your boldness. Thank you on behalf of us as an organisation, but also on behalf of the patients you've worked with. Thank you. My name is Emma Wicks. I was given this award for raising the profile of the speech and language therapist. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, our local trust didn't have a dedicated speech and language therapy service into critical care. In response to the pandemic, we reconfigured our team so that we could enreach and support those patients with swallowing and communication difficulties in critical care. I then worked closely with Paul Hopkins on our trust communication team to raise awareness of this role of the speech and language therapist. We wrote articles to share with the trust staff, and I was also interviewed on local radio and on Channel 5 News with some of those patients I'd worked with to highlight this important role. In doing this, we also contributed to establishing the funding for a dedicated speech and language therapy service into critical care. I nominated Ellen Dormer uh, as a way of thing, saying thank you on behalf of RADU, the Raising Awareness of DOD campaign, as well as saying thank you on behalf of the many, many thousands of people with DOD who find you inspiring, Ellen. Um, I've actually got a list of all the ways, to, things we need to say thank you for, for your campaigning work, for your videos on TikTok and videos on YouTube, for your website, this is DOD, which I know has reached many, many people and had a real impact, um, for your raising money for ICANN, and uh, also being on the UK Rattle Committee. Ellen, you are a one woman campaigner for DOD. Thank you. So well deserved that you get this award. Hi, I'm Ellen and I won this award for my work on raising awareness of DLD. Living with DLD can be hard. None of the mainstream classes I've been in or set up, so you become invisible or written off. Every day is tiring, battling for what I need. This isn't good enough and I want to change this as we can achieve. My goal is for people with DLD to be seen and heard given a fair chance and not left behind. Thank you. Hi, my name is Patrice Matten and I'm the Assistant Speech and Language Therapy Manager for Children's Services in South Eastern Trust in Northern Ireland. I've nominated Laura Knott, Specialist Speech and Language Therapist for Stammering for a Giving Voice Award. Laura is passionate about changing the lives of children and young people who stammer and their families. On a daily basis, Laura strives to support children, young people and adults who stammer and supports them to make positive changes in their lives and to find solutions. Laura embraces every opportunity that comes her way to raise awareness of stammering, including social media feeds, podcasts and interviews with local radio. Laura's strapline is it's never too late. A truly inspiring giving voice message. Enjoy your award, Laura. You truly deserve it. Hello, my name is Laura Knott. I'm a speech and language therapist in the South Eastern Trust in Northern Ireland. I am so shocked, but so, so thrilled to have received a Given Voice Award for my work with children, young people and adults who stammer, and also my work raising awareness about stammering. 
I am so, so passionate about working with people who stammer and their families and about the role of the speech and language therapist, helping that person to become the most confident and effective communicator that they can be. A huge thank you to Give and Voice and RCSLT. Also, a big thank you to the Southeastern Trust, to all my colleagues and friends, and of course, my lovely service users. Thank you so, so much again for this award. I'm absolutely delighted. My name is Gemma Clooney and I work for Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust as a clinical specialist speech and language therapist. I nominated Gemma Haynes for an RCSLT fellowship because I wanted to commend her clinical contribution to the field of upper airway disorders. Gemma has advocated for the role of SLTs in a respiratory team for many years, leading to positive changes for patients and clinicians across the country. Her recent MBE demonstrates the impact and high level recognition of her work. She is a long-term RCSLT advisor and is passionate about SLTs achieving their maximum potential, demonstrating this with her appointment as the inaugural Chief Allied Health Professional at Manchester Foundation Trust. For an SLT to take such an integral role at the board level of an NHS trust represents a huge accomplishment for Gemma as an individual, but also as a representative of our profession. An RCSLT fellowship is the least way to acknowledge all that she has done and continues to do for SLTs.